An ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy located elsewhere outside of the uterus. Here you see the uterus, this is the, this is the womb. These are the fallopian tubes. Normally, fertilization is inside one of the tubes. After fertilization, in about one week, the early embryo travels through the rest of the fallopian tube into the endometrium, into the uterus. When this migration from the fallopian tube is not happening, does not happen successfully, then the embryo is stuck here inside the fallopian tube. By the way, this is the most common kind of ectopic, pre uh, ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy can also happen anywhere in the pelvis, but here we are talking about the most common type, type of ectopic pregnancy, which is the fallopian tube ectopic pregnancy. So, the embryo begins to grow here, but the walls of the fallopian tube are not so strong as the myometrium, which allows the baby to grow for nine months. After a while, uh, when the embryo grows further, the walls of the, of the fallopian tube are stretched and after a certain time they break off with tearing of the vessels there. And when vessels are teared, so there is a bleeding inside your abdomen. And this bleeding can sometimes be life threatening. So if we detect this ectopic pregnancy, our chances of therapy are very high. With methotrexate, if we detect the pregnancy, ectopic pregnancy early, our chances of treatment are about 90%. If we are not able to detect this embryo and if it's gone beyond the limits of possible treatment with methotrexate, we have to treat it with surgery. Laparoscopic removal of the embryo or sometimes of the fallopian tube is the most common treatment method we use. But if the wall of the fallopian tube has ruptured and has begun to bleed and there is much of blood in the abdomen, our only choice is usually to make an open surgery for treatment. So early detection is key. For early detection, we should see the embryo inside the uterus in about 4.5 to 5 weeks after the last menstrual period. It's important to detect the absence of the embryo of the gestational sac inside the womb, so to suspect a possible ectopic pregnancy and make further investigations.